America produces 250 million pounds of plastic waste a year. Every minute, a garbage truck of plastic is dumped into the ocean. By 2050, there will be more weight of plastic in the ocean than fish. You may hear these alarming facts about the ocean and wonder, what can I do to put a dent on these numbers? Or you may even think, can I put a dent on these numbers? Thankfully, you can. You can make simple changes that could go a long way. There are some changes that, if made, can really reduce the amount of plastic going into the ocean. For instance, use reusable water bottles instead of plastic bottles. Most plastic bottles can't be recycled, and the ones that are take lots of energy to recycle them, making the process not efficient. Pair this with the fact that every second 1,500 plastic water bottles are consumed in the U.S. makes them one of the worst single-use plastics. If a student goes to school 170 days in a year and they bring an 8 by 25 inch plastic water bottle with them every day, then by the end of the school year they could have created a 136 foot tall structure entirely made out of plastic water bottles. Now, let's say 9 of their peers do this also. Then combined, all of their wasted water bottles could have been created into a structure that's 1,360 feet tall. However, this can all be avoided by using a reusable water bottle. Using plastic sealed bags may be extremely convenient due to the fact that you can just throw it away when done. However, using Tupperware, even though you need to wash it, is far better for the environment because it is reusable and it could last a long time. Don't use straws. Around 500 million straws are used every day in America, and they are one of the biggest single-use plastics wasted. Use reusable bags instead of plastic bags when shopping. But if you do have to use plastic bags, you should call your local government and ask them where to drop the bags off when finished, instead of recycling them yourself. As plastic bags are difficult to recycle normally, and many communities have a place to drop them off so they can be recycled as efficiently as possible. Don't use soap or cosmetics with microbeads in them. Microbeads are small pieces of plastic that are used in products because they are thought to make them more effective. They are designed small enough to go down the drain of a sink or shower, but they are so small that they aren't filtered out and they pour into the oceans. Every day, 8 trillion microbeads go into the ocean due to them not being filtered out properly. One British study found that just one shower with the soap of a high concentration of microbeads led up to 100,000 of them going down the drain. These microbeads disrupt the ocean's habitat, food chain, and ecosystem, with some oysters mistaking the plastic particles for food and are found to have up to 50 microbeads inside of them. Microbeads attract toxins within the ocean to themselves making them even more dangerous to the animals that eat them. You can avoid other products with microbeads in them, such as moisturizers, lotions, and toothpaste. A majority of the plastic in the ocean ends up in a garbage patch inside a gyre. No garbage patches aren't an entire island in the middle of the ocean made up of trash. However, they are just as bad. Gyres are a large system of circular ocean currents formed by global wind patterns and forces created by the Earth's rotation. What you need to know from that is microplastics, which are pieces of plastics broken up over time from the ocean, become trapped inside of these gyres and create a large underwater mass of plastic waste which creates the garbage patch. But because of how these patches are formed, it's incredibly hard to clean up the microplastics inside of them. They are dangerous because marine creatures can easily eat them. Plastics have been found in seabirds, turtles, fish, whales, shellfish, and crustaceans. By making small yet effective changes and encouraging others to do so also, and even spreading awareness about plastic pollution, you can have a huge effect on the ocean's well-being.